Well, let's talk about the pulse. <clears throat> We've got a short period of time. There are several places, places where you can feel your pulse. Number one, in the wrist. There's a little bone and a little tendon right in between the two. There is a little pouch where you can feel your pulse. You can feel it up in the neck, never feel both sides at the same time. In your elbow, there's a little place where you can feel the brachial artery. You can feel the pulse in your groin. You can actually feel a pulse on the top of your foot. There's several places. Now, if you learn how to take your pulse, it should be regular beat, beat, beat. Sometimes when people breathe in, the pulse rate gets a little faster. When they breathe out, it gets a little slower. That's normal. If you skip some beats, if you go beat, 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 and then skip time, that can be normal or abnormal. When you sit down and rest, your heart rate goes slower. Normal heart rate, men 65 to 75, women 70 to uh, 78, somewhere in there would be normal at resting. So if you're feeling your pulse and it skips a beat, when you rest, that's normal, but if it occurs more common when you exercise, if you get a little fluttery feeling and you're skipping beats when your heart rate is faster because of exercise, that can be a sign that your heart is becoming more irritable with exercise. People with hyper, an overactive thyroid, hyperthyroidism, their pulse sometimes goes bang, 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 100 times a minute, they have perspiration, their skin is very fine, their hair is soft, uh, sometimes their eyes are bulging, they're nervous all the time, they talk real fast, like Dr. Bob. Uh, sometimes I don't talk fast, but that's a sign of an overactive thyroid. You can help your doctor by now. When you feel palpitations, some people have a heart rate that goes up to 150 times a minute, and it'll stay there for only an hour. And by the time you get to the doctor, the pulse rate is normal. That's called SVT, supraventricular tachycardia, medical names. But if you could tell your doctor your pulse is 150 now, when you count that way, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20. Count by tens and you can pick that pulse. What can make the pulse rate real slow? Well, if you're an athlete and you're well-trained, pulse may be 40 times a minute. If you're on a beta blocker, certain kind of blood pressure medicine, it can make your pulse rate go slow. There are some diseases that change the pulse. For instance, a heart murmur, aortic stenosis. The blood has a hard time getting out of the heart and the pulse will hit and be real long and slow. Whereas if somebody has another aortic murmur, aortic insufficiency, blood is pumped out from the heart, the next beat, blood comes back into the heart from two different ways, boom, it thrusts out. And so the pulse is real strong and real high. Those people, when they cross their legs, sometimes it even moves their leg. Uh, so the pulse can be very, very helpful. Learn how to take your pulse. You feel it in the neck, you count it for 15 seconds, multiply by four, and that will give your doctor your pulse. Let him know if it's regular or irregular. When you have problems, take your pulse and tell your doctor about it. It could give him a hint that something's going wrong and could save your life.